Hello everyone, this is Susie Q. And um, I got a special request from Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies to make my candy cane cookies that I make um, tr traditionally every year. And so I'm going to do that right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, uh, step around my counter here and see if you can see me, and I think you can. Um, okay, so this recipe, um, it calls for uh, butter, shortening, um, confectioner sugar, an egg, almond extract, vanilla, flour, and salt. And um, so let me get started. I don't know um, how loud this mixer is going to be um, once it's on video, but um, we'll see. So anyway, the first thing that we do is we, we put the butter and the, um, the shortening and the sugar, the egg, and the flavorings into this bowl. So we'll start out with a half a cup of butter. half a cup of shortening, and I just use, um, I know that there's different brands of shortening, but uh, I just use generic brand. I, I use GV brand from, from Walmart, but however, when I use butter uh, or margarine, I love imperial margarine to, to bake with, you know, the stick kind. Um, that's just my preference. And so we'll go ahead and put the shortening in with the butter. And I just want to tell you guys, this is the first time that I've done a, a cooking video. And so, um, you know, Suzanne did a wonderful one with her marzipan cake. And so um, I just, you know, Boy, I really thought she was great doing that. She did a good job, so I don't know. I, I, I hope that um, this will turn out okay. The next thing is going to be a cup of um, confectioner sugar, which is um, powdered sugar. So I'm just going to fill this up with some powdered sugar. And um, I don't sift it. It's, it's pre-sifted, and it doesn't look lumpy, lumpy to me. So um, we're just going to go ahead and use it like this. So this recipe um, ends up looking like candy canes, but they're in the cookie form. And my kids um, used to love these every year, love me to make these every year. Um, okay, so uh, confectioner sugar, oh, an egg. So we have an egg, um, let's see, what else do we put in there, and flavorings, okay. So the flavorings that I'll put in this is um, a teaspoon of almond extract and um, vanilla flavoring. And let me walk over here real quick, I forgot to put my vanilla flavoring in the rest of everything. So um, anyway. So we have um, one and a half teaspoons of almond extract, and I love almond extract. I mean, it, I, I love almond. I love marzipan. <laughs> um, so it's one and a half teaspoons. Okay. So there's one teaspoon. And these are my Tupperware measurements. Um, from years and years ago when they used to have Tupperware parties and I got a ton of Tupperware and I just love this I think I have about three sets of each one of these um, the cups and the teaspoons measuring spoons okay so um, oh and then the okay so I did the let me do the vanilla a teaspoon Okay, this is the part where it gets noisy, and I hope it's going to be okay. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and put the mixer on here. And I like to stop 
the mixer and push everything down inside, of course, to get, make sure that um, all that goodness gets put in there. And I blend it until it's really, really nice and smooth. So it should just be a couple more seconds here. Okay, now to this we add um, the flour and the salt. And so it calls for um, two and a half cups of flour, just regular all purpose flour. So uh, this is our first cup. So, and I also use just these the store brand of flour too. Um, some things that you know I buy the the brand name because I really prefer it. It tastes better. But then, um, for me, other other uh, other brands, um, you know, not so much. They're just the same, and you know. So there's one cup, two cups, boy Suzanne if you're watching I'll tell you what uh, this isn't as easy as you made it look when you did your marzipan cake because <laughs> I don't I mean I'm trying to you know I don't want this video to last forever and ever so there's two and then, um, whoop, and then a half a cup. And the thing about this, this type of a, a, a cooking video is, um, you, you know, like I don't have one of those remote things that you, that I turn my, uh, video camera off and on. So, uh, what you see is what you get. <laughs> um. So I'm just hoping and praying that you get okay. All right, so then you um, blend this together. Oh, the salt also. It calls for a teaspoon of salt. And um, I have a towel right here. I have a, I have a Santa Christmas towel that I'm using for baking today. So it's a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle that in. Okay, and then we blend this very, you know, kind of gently, just just until it's blended in. I wish you could, I wish I could make the camera angle to where you could see this. It's not important really to see it, but, um, might be kind of boring for you to watch the and hear the blender go for an ever and ever. So I'm going to go ahead and push everything down. And this this cookie dough does not need to be refrigerated. Um, in fact, you can't. It's hard to work with when it's refrigerated because it, you're actually going to make ropes out of um, out of the dough. Next step is um, I take half of the dough out of here, and with the half that I take out, I'm going to add red food coloring and peppermint extract because um, the cookie actually uh, is going to resemble a candy cane, and the red part of the candy cane is going to taste like peppermint, and the the doughy part of the candy cane is going to taste like almond flavoring. And so, um, oh, I didn't bring a bowl over to, let me get a bowl real quick so that I can um, have something to divide it in, two. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I, like I said, it's my, this is my first rodeo, <laughs> so uh, 
Okay. So I'm going to take this off because, um, well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the doughy, the white doughy part out. And I'm going to keep the red part that I want to do red inside so that I can just use the mixer on the red part in here. So I'm going to just divide her, divide it in half. And I'm going to put um, half of it in this bowl. And it's kind of hard. Usually, um, I'm such a perfectionist, I usually measure, um, you know, just to make sure that I come out even with the red and the, and the white part. But um, today, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to subject you to my um, preciseness today. So, and anyway, if I do have one, one or the other left over, um, I'll just make that into like a, a round cookie and sprinkle some um, colored, colored sugar on it. Sprinkles, you know. So, not to worry. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. This is the white dough. I'm going to put that aside because to this dough, I am going to add... Let's see, a teaspoon of peppermint extract, which is right here, and about a half a teaspoon of red food coloring. We'll see. I usually like to just um, add the food coloring according to what I think it should look like. And so. Um, I have these little food colorings here that um, that come in the, the squeeze containers. Is that red? Oh, that's orange. Okay, I'm going to have to turn you off for just a second while I look for my red. 